What's up guys, Rain and Stormwick here, bringing you a wanted video today, and I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks for wanted to help you guys get better at wanted in Assassin's Creed 4. So I've talked a little bit about the change in mechanics in Assassin's Creed 4. Um, the game focuses more around stealth, around trickery, around vision impairment, and it's more focused around social stealth than pretty much any other multiplayer before, I think. It, um, it really encourages you to be stealthy and trick your targets and your pursuers. So, um, basically back in, uh, in Brotherhood, Wanted, if you got a 10k in Wanted, that was considered a great score. I think it's even more so in Assassin's Creed 4. If you score a 10k in Wanted in this game, you can be proud of yourself. I'm pretty sure the high score in Wanted, there's like only a few people that have more than 10k on Xbox in the entire world. So that just shows you how good of a score 10k is and how much harder Wanted is. And I really like things that are difficult, things that really just take a long time to master. As you can see, I'm running Disguise, Decoy, and Knives. Um, I run decoy a lot in this game, as you guys probably saw if you watch my deathmatch video, where I also give some tips and tricks for deathmatch. Um, decoy is just amazing. Um, disguise has always been good, and I think disguise is even better in this game, even though it doesn't give you a hidden bonus like it did in Brotherhood. Um, I don't feel like it needs that in this game at all. Uh, you can blend, you know, you can blend with uh, with single personas that are walking around. You can actually blend with them. Um, that's really a tactic I really use a lot. Uh, to get, you know, just to blend in with, with another persona. Um, if you have Blender, you can make that single persona look like you. Um, it's really great for fooling people. Um, but as you can see, I'm not having the best start. Um, my contract was taken by someone else, had to get a ground finish. And a minute has gone by, and I haven't really scored anything at all. Um, but this is a really good game. Um, you'll see me just... I play pretty stealthy here. I try to get close to my target, and then I slow down. And I take it slow, and I try to get a good kill. And the thing with wanted is like a lot of people, you, a lot of you probably know this, but you want to try to cut the person off. So you need to figure out where they're going. So as you see, this guy is going up on the roof. He's going across there. I can guess he's probably going that way. So I'm going to cut through here, oh, or I'm going to go up on the roof. Level one. I probably didn't even mean to do that, but just like went with it. <laughs> but um, you don't want to stay on the roof too long at all, because especially if you have pursuers, you're just going to make everyone gravitate towards the roof. And you can die like that. So that was <laughs> that was what you don't want to do. And wow, I just I had a really bad start to this game. Um, this uh, Rodney Johnson guy, I'm pretty sure he was like really high prestige in AC3, like like really high, like 60, 70, uh, at least when I saw him last. So this guy is definitely a good player. He definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, there's a couple good players in this lobby. Okay, so <laughs> I just sent my decoy. Um, I'm gonna get a nice kill here. As you can see, I just I sit in the hidden group for a second, get my times two bonus, pull off a hidden kill. Um, but I'm I'm not doing too great so far. I mean, two minutes and twenty seconds have went by, and I haven't gotten much at all. I fucking get a second of fucking So my disguise is up. Uh, already used my decoy. Whispers are strong. I can definitely tell that. Wow. I don't know why she killed a civilian there though. Uh, that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, got my disguise on now. That's definitely a decoy. And this guy, he definitely knows I'm here. Like, it's clear he knows there's someone behind him. So what I'm going to do is, he goes around the corner, and I know he's going to come back and like try to corner stun me, so I just head up the wall, and I'm going to get an acrobatic kill here. He has no idea where I went. That's a really good thing to do. Um, not to mention acrobatic goes towards your variety, which you want to be trying to get in this game <laughs> because like you can get it multiple times. So, like once you get each once you get each bonus for variety, try to get the next one until you can get four, and then it'll reset and you can go for you know the next variety. So all I have up right now is my decoy. I have one pursuer. I'm back up to second place, so I'm doing a little bit better now. As you can see, there's three players here in this chase breaker, and I was afraid that I was gonna get. Uh, poached if I didn't take that kill, so I just took the 250 point kill. I wasn't going to get anything too much better anyway. I didn't really want to get contested, so. Still in second place. All my abilities are on cooldown. Um, here, what I do here is pretty cool. I, I know this guy's going to keep walking the same direction, so I just kind of walk ahead of him like I'm not his pursuer. I end up making him kill a civilian, and I grab a nice full approach uh, hidden kill. I'm up to 7 out of 11 on my streak. 
Um, as you can see, I'm using the 11, the 11 kill streak for 550 points, and uh, full uh, like perfect approach or great approach, I believe, are uh, the t they will give you two towards your streak, and stuns give you one. So you want to be trying to trying to get as many like full. Uh, Sorry, I'm not used to the bonuses in this game. It used to be silent and incognito. So if you get uh, the two top approaches, uh, you'll get two points towards your streak, even if you're contested. And a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people know that. But even if you get contested, you still get rewarded for having your uh, your meter up that high. As you can see, I sent my decoy off here. This guy did not fall for it, but that's okay. No big deal. I knew he saw me, so I didn't bother uh, trying to get a hidden kill there. I would have been stunned. I got my variety because I got a chain bonus because I got the, the stun and then the kill. So as you can see it says 4 out of 4, variety plus 400. My variety is now reset back to 0. I have 5 minutes left so I do have a chance to get another variety. I'm not sure if I do get it or not but I'm back up to first place. 3,700 points. I'm doing okay now. Um, I mean it's it's no 10k but it's pretty good. That was great. I got my streak, got my acrobatic. Oh, oh my 1 out of 4 my variety. This is the worst lobby. Nick is talking about how he has the worst lobby ever, um, and he was like, I wish I had your lobby, and I was like, I don't know, man, I have, like, Rodney Johnson and, like, uh, another good player in here, it's not exactly the best lobby ever, but, um, I mean, like I said, wanted in this game is a lot harder, but that's fun for me. I, I love that stealth kills are so rewarding, I love that there's a buff to, like, decoy and bodyguard and disruption and glimmer and like all the abilities uh, I mean not all the abilities but some of the abilities in AC3 that I felt were just really underpowered all oh, this parts great okay so I know I have two pursuers here I walk in here I send a decoy I run out I corner stun him and the decoy fools the other one so I get two kills here and then I get really lucky and one of the guys I stun becomes my target so I get my chain bonus two stuns and a kill and then I die but that's okay I'm two out of four of my variety now Got a bunch of points there. I'm up to 5,600. Got a nice lead over second place, wow. and now I have full control over the game. Uh, because if you're in first place and wanted, you basically have control over the game. Um, you'll have the most pursuers, so you can make your pursuers go towards you. And if your pursuers are going towards you, there's a high chance your target will also go towards you. Walk into a hidden group here. I'm going to grab a nice focus hidden kill here. Got another variety. See, that's what I was saying. You can get multiple varieties. And that's why it's good to go for those bonuses. So I'm up to 6,800 points with 3 minutes left. Now I'm back on pace for a 10k. Things are going great right now. But things can change really quickly. So you kind of just have to be patient. You know, keep your head in the game. Don't get too antsy. Don't worry too much about what your score is at. Like, I don't know. If you're doing bad, don't worry about that. Just focus on what you're doing. It could change really quickly. If you're doing really good, same thing. Just keep focusing on what you're doing. Because you could ruin a good game if you're not careful. So I distract this guy a little bit with my decoy. But he still sees me and can test my kill. But that's okay because I still had a great, I still had a great approach. So I got two more points towards my streak. And I'm using Determined, which a lot of you probably know already. It ignores the score halving for uh, contested kills. You still get slowed down. Um, you still lose like hidden and like the multiplier type bonuses, but you uh, you keep your your approach your approach score, which is really cool. So I know this guy is my pursuer. It's pretty obvious. He's walking right at me. Uh, knife stuns. A lot of you've been asking about knife stuns. You need to do them closer range. They kind of work like AC3, but you need to do them from a closer range, and you need to be quick because you only have like two or three seconds, depending how you have your knives crafted. I per personally have them crafted for three seconds into duration and I'm pretty sure that affects the uh, the time they're rooted which is really important when you're going for a knife stun. It still doesn't work every time and I think that's probably because of lag like uh, their characters in a little bit different position than what they look like so when you go for the stun they still get uh, the contested kill on you but for the most part it works the same as AC3 but a lot harder and a little bit less inconsistent because you don't have as much time to do it. So as you can see here, um, I sent off my decoy, but apparently I got poisoned. That's okay, I'm pretty sure I still got the... Did I get the hidden? No, I didn't get the hidden. But I did get a chain bonus, so that counts towards my variety. 
I have 8,300 points with a minute left. Falling a little bit behind if I want to get a 10k, but no big deal. Um, like I said, that can change really quickly. You can get 2,000 points in the span of like 20 seconds. So I'm still just trying to focus on getting that 10k. I'm not going to tell you guys if I get it or not. Um, usually when I say that, that means I do, but might not be the case this time. You never know. Anyway, as you can see, my target is nearby. Um, heartbeats are actually a really good way to tell uh, how close your target is. What I should have done right here is I should have knifed him and I should have went for the focus hidden. But instead, I did not knife him, walked out of the hidden group, and I didn't get my hidden. So that was, that was a big mistake right there. That would have been well over a 9k. But unfortunately, uh, you know, no one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes in this game. And that was a... I wouldn't say a huge mistake, but a fairly fairly bad mistake in my opinion. Um, so yeah, things could have went better in this game, but overall, uh, I'm relatively happy. Um, the game is about to end. Obviously, I'm not going to get a 10k. Like I said, usually when I say that, it means I do, but that was not the case this time. I will continue trying to get a 10k, though, and bring it to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that wanted gameplay. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and take it easy, guys. Have a good one. No, I thought you were still in that game. Oh, that's...